Single step genomic evaluation is a slightly different approach uh, to incorporating DNA information into EPDs than what we currently use. The uh, multi-step, what we call the Catchman model, uh, where the genomic values are used as correlated traits is what we currently use. And, and this is a, another way that uh, the dairy industry and some other livestock species have started to use to uh, basically incorporate that DNA testing information into the calculation of genomically enhanced EPDs. The software we use for single step, as well as the software we use today, is licensed from the University of Georgia Animal Breeding Group. They've been a partners uh, with the Angus Association for a long, long time. They've successfully implemented single step with several other species, swine, poultry, dairy cattle. Uh, we're their first beef client uh, to work with single step. And we are uh, currently uh, testing the single step software. We've been running it weekly uh, side by side with the traditional genetic evaluation that we run. Uh, and we're seeing good convergence. We're seeing good results for some traits. Uh, other traits, the, the solutions are not as accurate as we'd like them to be. And so we're continuing to refine that, that model and those systems uh, until we're comfortable with the results. And so that we want to be sure that Angus breeders will get the most accurate evaluations possible. We've done some testing with those results at places like the U.S. Meat Animal Research Center where they have independent data on Angus cattle uh, to see which uh, methods provide the most accurate results. And to this point, we've not seen an improvement with single step over the current method. I think it's important for Angus breeders to understand that the genomic evaluation that we provide today is built on a, a recent calibration that was released less than a year ago. It's the largest that's ever been done and the Angus genomically enhanced EPDs today are the most accurate available in the beef industry. And while we're going to continue to, to work push forward on this technology, uh, we want to be confident that it's an improvement over what's a very good system today before we put it in the hands of breeders. You know, the Angus Association and AGI have always had uh, you know, accuracy of results as their highest priority, that the integrity of the database and the accuracy of the results that we provide is more important than anything else. And you know, Angus breeders have come to depend on us for the most accurate and current information possible, and we're going to continue to deliver that. And at the point where we feel like that these results are, uh, from the single step, are more accurate than what we have today, we'll release them. But at this point, uh, we're not seeing that. Uh, we would anticipate that sometime late spring or early summer, uh, we would have single step implemented uh, for the Angus evaluation.